I've got a drug and alcohol problem. Uh, it's been going on about 17 years. But you're here, right? And you're gonna, you're asking for help. I meet the client where we're at. So if they're, they're coming to the safe station, there is a glimpse of them that want the help. Whether that glimpse lasts longer or just very short, it was there. And so that seed is already in them that they want to get well. Um, but again, when you're starting to withdraw and not feel well, the only way to get well for them and their brain is to go out and use again. Um, so just instilling the hope in them while they're on the safe station with a clear, well, hopefully a clear mind, um, that we let them know that we're here regardless of what their decision is today, whether they want to go into a resolution service or they want to end up back in the community. And that's really what my goal is. I don't, I don't like to force anybody into anything, so just letting them know we're here. Safe Stations has been a game changer for Anne Arundel County. When we first began confronting this crisis three years ago, it became very clear that people didn't know where to go to get services, where to go to get help at the moment when they were ready to get help. The opioid epidemic has evolved in, in various ways over the course of the last three years. The most obvious is that it has increased by multiples of where it was three years ago. And that's despite tremendous effort. But the numbers are, are so frightening, the number of fatalities and the number of overdoses. The other thing that's changed is actually good news. People today have more access to services, more access to help and recovery than they did three years ago. The private sector and county government departments have, have made great progress in expanding our network of treatment services. There is hope, there is help. You just have to ask for it. And the best way to ask for it is to go to a fire station, a safe station. Not only do we have officers who are CIT trained in patrol and in the department, we have our own unit. We're the only department that I know of that actually works out of crisis response. So it's myself and four other officers. Um, Jen is considered my partner and the officers have clinicians who are their partners. You know, you're the one that taught me that if someone doesn't want help, they don't want, they don't want help. I look back at it, you know, and I remember what um, Wes told me, it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint, mm -hmm. you know, and I have, even with the couple of little lapses, I've still come a long way from where I, mm -hmm. where I was, and I'm proud of that. And you know, the drug court and you guys, doing the things you like help me out get me into rehabs and get me back on the right track it, it's helped me out so much yeah you can toot our horn but you need to toot your own no i, I understand you're, you're the one that's working and you're the one hey when i came to drug court that day you could have said i'm not going you could have said i don't want to do that but see that's the thing like i don't want to use right that's what i'm saying you made the decision but yeah. you did most of the work, and that's kind of where I want you to pat yourself on the back some. We're just here to help a little bit. It's all you. I know. Yeah. You know, I've had a little bit of help here and there from um, from you guys, yeah. but I, I have pretty much been doing everything on my own, and it, and it feels good because I, I'm 25 years old, and I don't, I, I do finally have, like, I'm, I have goals, like, I want to, want my own place, I want a family one day, I want to... You know, go back to school. I want to. I just, I just want to get my life together. You know, and this you is like, this is the time is now. Yeah, you know, you're at a good stage of that. Yeah, the time mm -hmm. is now. Well, Safe Station is about saving lives and offering hope. It's a way for people who are seeking help, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They can go to any fire station, any police station in Anne Arundel County or the city of Annapolis and start the process of, of getting help. Uh, when they show up there, we'll check them, make sure they don't have any s significant medical issues, and then we'll contact Crisis Response, who have been amazing about coming in. And what they do with people is they find them where they are. So if they need in-house care, then they'll, they'll arrange for that. If they need um, an outpatient program, they'll find that for them. So everybody, who comes in gets the, the help that they need and works for them specifically.